morning, welcome to Breathe Kids Church. Show us a big cheesy grin if you are ready for an amazing morning. Awesome. If you are new this morning, thank you so much for joining us. We are going to have the best time together. My name is Lucy and myself and the Breathe Kids team are very excited to be spending our morning with you. We are now going to go into a time of praise and worship. So get yourselves ready. Let's go and praise Jesus together. dancing with you guys here in the cafe and I'm sure that you guys enjoy dancing at home too. So last week we looked at how God spoke to Moses through a burning bush. Amazing right? Today we're going to look at what happens next. Let's watch this cartoon together.
the faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake. Uh -oh. So Moses ran away from Egypt uh -oh. to the land of Midian. Uh -oh. After many years, an angel of the Lord appeared to Moses ah! and told him to go back to Egypt to free the Israelites. After much protesting, God granted Moses his brother Aaron to speak on his behalf. Ooh. So Moses went to Egypt. Damn, and on his way there, he met Aaron who was ready to do whatever God wanted him to do. The Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians, but God had a special plan for Moses. After rallying God's people to them, Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. and said, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, has said. Let my people go. Uh -huh. And Pharaoh made the Israelites work harder because of this. The foremen of the Israelite slaves were angry with Moses and Aaron for causing this trouble. Uh, eh? uh. So Moses cried out to God and asked why this was happening. But God said, you will see what I will do. I am the Lord. I will deliver you from slavery. Wow, okay. Hey. Moses told this to the people. Hey, hey. But they were so discouraged that they didn't listen to him. God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and to do exactly as he said. So Moses and Aaron went to the Pharaoh. Hey. God told them to take the staff and throw it down before Pharaoh. Huh? Pharaoh was not impressed. He called his wise men and sorcerers and they did the same thing. Ooga, ooga. <laughs> but Aaron's staff swallowed up the sorcerer's staff. Uh? Yet Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he would not listen to them. Shoo, shoo. Just as God had said. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the banks of the Nile River and meet Pharaoh. Hey, Pharaoh. Oh, Moses and Aaron did just as God had said. But again, Pharaoh's magicians did the same miracle, and Pharaoh refused to let God's people go. So God sent nine more plagues to Egypt to show his power. Even with all the suffering, Pharaoh's heart stayed hard, and he would not let the people go. On the night of the last plague, Pharaoh woke up huh? and heard a great cry in Egypt. Oh, no. For there was not a house in Egypt where someone was not dead. Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and told him to be gone with the Israelites. So the Israelites left Egypt immediately and made their way to the Promised Land, taking with them many riches from Egypt, and they took Joseph's bones as they had promised him many years before. But after they had gone, Pharaoh changed his mind and readied his army to take back the Israelites. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh and his armies come, 
they were terrified. <laughs> but God made a way for them. Through all of this, the Israelites saw the great power of their God, the one true God, and they put their trust in Moses, his servant. That was an amazing story. So now is the time for you to go and get your notebooks, your Bibles and your pens ready to take some notes. You have got 10 seconds. Go. So Moses was able to get God's people to listen to him by showing him the amazing miracles God had shown him before. Turn with me to Exodus chapter 5 verses 1 to 5 and we can read it together. It says this. After Moses and Aaron talked to the people, they went to the king of Egypt. They said, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, Let my people go, so they may hold a feast for me in the desert. But the king of Egypt said, who is the Lord? Why should I obey him and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord, and I will not let Israel go. Then Aaron and Moses said, The God of the Hebrews has talked with us. Now let us travel three days into the desert. There we will offer sacrifices to the Lord our God. If we don't do this, he may kill us with a disease or in war. But the king said to them, Moses and Aaron, why are you taking the people away from their work? Go back to your hard work. There are very many Hebrews, and now you want them to quit their hard work. This must have been hard for Moses and his brother Aaron, as the king told them no, but God had said to go and do it. Sometimes people can get in the way of what God wants us to do, but we cannot allow that to dishearten us. We have to continue to trust God, especially when it's hard, because that is where our faith grows the most. After Moses and Aaron met with the king, things actually got a lot worse for the Israelites. The king was very, very unkind to them. And Moses didn't want to do what God asked, but God kept on encouraging him. He finally said yes. Even after this, the king of Egypt still didn't let the Israelites go. If I was Moses and his people, I would have been very confused. Sometimes God's plans can make absolutely no sense at all but will we still trust him? If you think you would still trust God even when it didn't make sense, either put your hand up if you are in the cafe or tell us on the chat. Awesome. Now we can see that Moses and his brother Aaron trusted God even though they didn't understand what was going on. God sent nine plagues. The water became blood, the frogs, the gnats, the flies, the disease on farm animals, the boils, the hail, the locusts and the darkness. Finally, after all these terrible things happened and a few other things, the king decided to let God's people go. But it did take a long time. Turn with me to Exodus chapter 12 verses 31 to 33 and we can read it together. It says this. During the night, the king called for Moses and Aaron. He said to them, get up and leave my people. You and your people may do as you have asked. Go and worship the Lord. Take all of your sheep and cattle as you have asked. Go and also bless me. The Egyptians also asked the Israelites to hurry and leave. They said, if you don't leave, we will all die. What God had promised had finally happened. I am sure there was a celebration within the Israelite community. I know I would be celebrating. You'll never guess what happened next. The king changed his mind and began to chase after the Israelites. As you can imagine, they all started to worry, but Moses told them to not be afraid. Moses' faith in the Lord calmed the people down. I hope my faith is that strong that I can stay calm in scary situations. God was with them and he performed an amazing miracle. He parted the Red Sea. They were able to walk between two walls of water. God went before them and protected them from the Egyptians. Isn't that amazing? So, what have we learned? Firstly, that God's plan won't always make sense, but we should trust him. Secondly, when we follow God's plan for our lives, there will always be people who will try and stop you. And thirdly, 
God is always with us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we have loved learning all about how you were with Moses and your people the whole time even when things didn't seem to be going how they expected them to go. Today I pray that we would learn to trust you more and know that you are with us always. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen and Amen. This week you have got a brand new memory verse to learn and this is from the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 and it says this Remember that I have commanded you to be strong and brave so do not be afraid the Lord your God will be with you where everywhere you go Say it with me Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 Remember that I commanded you to be strong and brave so don't be afraid the Lord your God will be with you everywhere you go why not highlight this and underline it in your Bibles, write it in your notebook, stick it on your fridge or on your window or on your mirror so that you can remember this awesome memory verse. This week you have got a brand new devotional which you can find on the Breathe New Life Church website underneath the Breathe Kids Church section. And if you are with us in church, you can find this devotional in your box. Hi guys, I'm Deb. And I'm Lucy. And we're so glad that you've joined in on Kids Church today. We, we have such a good time. This is just a quick reminder to let you know that Ignite is now every other Friday. So it's not every single Friday, it's every other Friday at 5.45. So tune in, we would absolutely love to see you there. We would, and every other Wednesday we have our awesome kids course, which is on Zoom, so we all get to be together, and that is again at 5.45, and it's an hour long, and you can sign up to this kids course following the description in this post. We would love to see you there, we have such a good time, and we love learning more about Jesus together with you guys, 
So get Let's your grown up to sign you off and we will see you all soon. Bye. Bye guys. I have loved looking at this amazing story with you. I love learning more about the Word of God every week. Don't forget to join us on Church Online following the link in this post. We love hanging out with you on a Sunday morning and we look forward to seeing you in person if you are able to come to church. Have a great week everyone. Thanks for joining us and we will see you all next week. Bye.